Yo guys, it's Arcade and today we are going to be making final boss theme for a game that doesn't really exist, but it's gonna be like an old school gaming music, sort of like 8-bit stuff or something like that. The twist is that I'm also going to be using sounds that I never used before, so that should be exciting as well. So to get started, we're gonna create the full composition and we're gonna use piano for that. For this, I have this piano from UVI called Austrian Grains. So this is the first thing we are going to be using. So we can start with the composition easily because the piano is probably the best sound to create compositions with. So here is my composition and it might look daunting at first so let's go over it and i'm gonna explain what i did everywhere so we start here adding some more notes to create this tension sounds like this So that's sort of like the opening sequence in the game that we imagine in our head. I would imagine that this opens up the level and shows you where you're going to be fighting. It's really useful to imagine the situation if you are creating music for a movie or a game, let it inspire you when creating the composition. Also side note, the BPM is at 175, which is quite a lot, but you know, the final boss music has to be intense. So we start with this. And then the actual song starts with this bass part. So again, I'm using the piano, but I already imagined that this would be the bass. So yeah, that's gonna be my bass. Then we move on to like a melody switch. gonna add some hits here like and then the main part comes in which is this arpeggio And then we have this nice fill where we just go over the scale, some high octaves here. And then after the fill, we are going to transition into another big part of the song, which is going to be guitars. And then yet another arpeggio, which is like the absolute ending of the battle. And that is pretty much it for the composition. But yeah, now let's actually transfer this composition from a piano to a proper song. So our first sound is this chordy synth. And it's again from UVI, who actually hooked me up with this power bundle, where you can get so many libraries from UVI, so many unique sounds, including like 8-bit synths, emulations, drum designers, and even like orchestral sounds. So, so many good things in this power bundle. And it's actually on an amazing discount right now. So check it out. Link is below in the description. They actually teamed up with FL Studio to give you a great deal. So don't miss out on this because the deal is ending soon. But yeah, I definitely recommend this. So we have this 8-bit synth, which is a fun little library. The first one we have is this synth soft. Pretty basic synth and we create this tension like I showed you in the composition. So it sounds like this. And yeah, that is it. That's the beginning of the song. We're just gonna put it in here and then we're gonna move on to the bass. So here is our beginning bass, which I showed you in the composition as well. So once again, we are using a sound from the 8-bit synth. I really love this one. It reminds me of like old games that I played, maybe even like Doom or something. But a really great sub bass. So I used it in the beginning and then in this part as well. So the battle is starting, maybe you are having a conversation with the final boss, so it's not yet so intense, but we're gonna move on to the next sound. So the next sound I use is this little effect. Again from the 8-bit synth, and we just slap it on 
the first repetition here. And the next thing is this drum loop, also from the 8-bit synth. Sounds like this. Just creates this nice background noise. So yeah, we are creating this tension. It's already sounding pretty good. Let's move on to the next sound. So following up on the drums, we actually created some proper drums for this. So let's take a look at those. Here's our drum beat from the Emulation 2 Plus. We have the Drumulation 80s Electro. So I thought like 80s drums would fit pretty well in this type of track. And we have this drum kit. So yeah, a lot of amazing drum kits in the UI Power Bundle. This is the one I chose. And here is my simple drum beat. And we also have an 8-bit snare to add more of a gaming vibe to the drum beat. Already has this nice 80s vibe. And the next thing we want to add in this part is the melody. So we don't want to like overdo the melody right away. We want to start slow. So I'm using two sounds for this melody from the 8-bit synth. And I chose some more calm sounds, one could say. Like pads slash flute. Again, here's the melody, same one from the composition. So that's sort of like the introduction melody, and it sounds like this in the song. After this, we want to introduce the drop, like the main part. So we cannot just like end it like this and then introduce the drop. We need some sort of a fill. So that's the next sound I'm going to show you. So we have this big band's hit, which is like my favorite sound in the song. So yeah, I never used to sound like this before and it was a lot of fun playing with this. So I created this fill, sort of following the melody. And it is, of course, from the emulation library. It gives me this superhero vibe, so I really enjoyed adding this sound in the song. And it sounds like this. So that's our fill before the drop. Then in the drop, we include the drums. But we also add this ride, just to sort of make it more intense. Then we add the bass. And as you can see, I also have a melody with the big band hits, which makes this pop a lot. And for the bass, I'm using a few different layers of bass. Like this from the get-go. But then in the drop, we actually have this. Then we have this one. And then we have this one, which is really gritty. All of these are from the 8-bit synth. You can see the names right here. And so yeah, I just combined those together. But yeah, we don't want the low frequencies here because we already have them in this bass. It's not necessary in this bass. It's just another layer to make the bass more greedy. So then we have this. It's sounding a bit rocky, which I like a lot. So now let me introduce the new sounds we're gonna add, which is this ARP melody. So for the melody, I'm using this sound. Then this sound, which is the bleep sound. And then this sound. To add a bit more low frequencies into the whole melody. So we wanna stack the layers essentially and choose multiple different sounds for the melody to create one big sound. So that's what we got right now. And another sound that we added is this choir, which is really important. And I think this choir signifies the boss battle the most because it's like an epic sound. It's sort of like evil sound, I would say. You are fighting the bad guy. And I got this choir from the 
emulation free again included in the UI power bundle check it out link below it really is an amazing bundle there's just so many unique and interesting sounds that you can find I've been enjoying it a lot always fun times when you get new sounds you know so we got this film score and choir and I created these chords. I tried to use power chords, which were used a lot in gaming music. So the power chord always has the same shape, I think. If you can see, we skipped six and then put a note on the seventh one. Then you got your power chord and you can copy this shape and you can see it fits on the other power chords as well. It sounds like this in the whole drop. Then we repeat it and we bring in the new sound. So yeah, here we bring in the new sound, which will be the guitar and an organ. And we also layer it with the synth as well. So moving on to the next part of the composition, which is this part. Here's the next part. So we bring in the guitar, create this fill slash arpeggio, and then add this guitar melody. And do a fill here, like I showed you in the piano composition. And we follow the same melody with an organ as well, and this synth melody. I guess one could say in this part, we are winning the fight. This part makes us feel sort of hopeful. So we add the guitar melody, organ, synth, put it all together and create this nice fill where I just basically take the cut tool and cut everything up and then repeat it like this. Again, using this big band in the fills, which really helped a lot. As far as the guitar goes, it's again from the Emulation 3. And we also have this Emulation 1 guitar for a different layer to just add something more to the whole thing. Anyways, then it sounds like this. As far as the effects go, I didn't use many effects, but one thing I did is use reverb on a lot of these sounds, sound goodizer as well, to just compress them a bit more, and stereo shaper to, instead of there being in mono, like in the middle of the mix, they are more to the sides of the mix, which creates more space for the things that are in the middle. You can have some stuff in the middle of the mix, some stuff on the sides of the mix, therefore you can include more stuff in the whole song. So I mostly used it on the melody sounds, the second guitar, the first one is actually in mono and I deleted some of the frequencies from it because it was really squeaky in those frequencies. So yeah, so here's our final drop or whatever you want to call it. I don't think they called it drop back then, but that's what we get today. And we created this arpeggio again with the guitar. Again, choosing some chords and melodies that are sort of unsettling, I would say. And the choir follows the same melody. And pretty much everything follows the same melody. And then this melody as well. So yeah, here we just go all the way. And even in the second part of this, the guitar is even more intense. So yeah, just want to create this intense moment where you probably finishing the fight with the boss. It sounds like this. Just going crazy. And then at the end we have this fill. And that is where it pretty much ends. But we have this conclusion at the end where I would think you would beat the boss and a nice melody, a bit melancholic, plays at the end. So I used some strings for that and some 
violin, but not a real one, just one from the emulation. But if you actually are interested in this power bundle and the UVI plugins that I used in this video, then you can find it in the link below. There is actually a proper augmented orchestra with tons of orchestral sounds and so many other unique sounds. So check it out, link is below. It's heavily discounted, so don't miss out on it. Now let's have a listen to the finished result. And that's where I'm gonna show you this conclusion as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out the UVI bundle link below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Other than that, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.